Hey campers, George here, back in the man cave. Guess what? It grows. My faded blue jean series from Rough Rider. Let's check it out. See, here it is here, the faded blue jeans. Knife, they just arrived. Very traumatic. I uh, got lost in the mail or went somewhere else or say hello to Mary or don't know where it landed up, but apparently it was lying under the bush by my mailbox. The box it came in was too big for the mailbox. They put it on top, fell down under the bush. This guy, look at that. You know, I'm a, I'm a, big, I'm a big fan of Rough Rider. This series especially I like. Just the the coloring on the scales is awesome. The blue and those orange inner liners just, they make me happy. <laughs> there it is there, you can see that. Very nice. And I do love a single blade knife. Now, if you, if you look at this, and I've, I've always wondered, I thought it was just a work knife, but uh, allegedly it's not. And the other thing that got me was that this they referred to on uh, Smoky Mountain when I looked at the description as a lobster. Now, I, I've never heard of that before, but and I've kind of seen this style. But I didn't know they called it a lobster. And personally, I don't know why, but I do like it. I mean, look at that. Nice and simple. This, to me, is a pretty good work knife. And having that lock back, I like that. I mean, most of them that they have, have out there in their series are not lockable. This is in there solid. It's not moving. Look at that. <laughs> the lobster. <laughs> Gotta love it. Now, couple of things that are a little different on this guy that is in an odd place normally I it's kind of more hidden than that and on here it's uh, it gives you the the item number from Rough Rider which is the RR2354 the lobster very nice I like this the the only real complaint I have is this is a, if this was rounded a little bit more, it would be perfect. And of course the, you know, the faded denim, the badge, the double R back to back and that faded look to it. Very nice. Love this. 440 stainless steel, just like all of them. This here has the uh, mat strike nail neck. See that blade? Kind of a drop point. And here you have your uh, false blade, which brings it to a nice point. Um, how sharp it is, I'm not sure. It looks sharp enough to me. The knives that come from the factory these days, they if, it, if they know what they're doing, it's reasonably sharp. You can use it out the box. Uh, some of them, you know, you can clean it, clean it up. Um, the the grind on this is is pretty consistent. If you look there, uh, you can't complain about that. You know, it's it's consistent. Rough Rider, pretty good at doing that. And of course, the value you get out of these guys is awesome. And of course. Their boxes are great. And the nice thing is, this series, all the boxes are exactly the same. Love that. And uh, my collection grows. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. I've been working on this for a long time. You can see the big bolster there with the big R. Love that. Uh, very nice. Liking this knife. Let's have a look at some of the specs. First of all, what I found interesting is that uh, uh, the description on Smoky Mountain is they say this is a clip. 
Um, I'm not so sure. It looks more of a drop when a clip would have that little upturn on the, the, the tip there. This just drops. So I'm not sure why they refer to it as a clip point. You've got your pins. This has four pins in it there. You can see that. And the badge. The frame, interestingly enough, if you look, is brass. The inside. The inside liner is brass. Whereas these, I believe, are nickel silver on the bolster. And like I said, it's a nice big bolster. So it's got some strength behind it there. It is uh, nickel silver and your pins as well. So very nice. Your typical Rough Rider. And of course, this series, like I said, is uh, my favorite. You just can't beat that color combination. What can I say? So let's have a look. The blade. A blistering, huh, surprisingly, I'm going to say two and a quarter inches right to the, to the working edge for a change. Well, Rough Rider does that, your working edge, uh, two and a quarter inches. Total length, yeah, Mary likes Rough Rider. I've got to tell you, whenever I get a Rough Rider, I choose here, aren't you? Total length on this one. And six and a quarter tip to butt. So you can see it there. Very nice. Do enjoy these knives. <laughs> uh, Rough Rider, still my favorite guy, simply because the choices they give you, and they have a bunch of choices. Um, they have a lot of different series. They're all nice. And, you know, this, like I said, this is just my favorite series from Rough Rider. Um, although I did see that the Arctic uh, series that they've just come out with, I do like that. Uh, we'll see what, what happens with that. I'm waiting for them to come out with a Barlow in that. Kind of like a Barlow. Once again, I like a single blade Barlow. So, so you can see it, it, you know, it clips in there really nice. It's solid. Not going anywhere. Gotta love these guys. I just love a single blade. This makes such a good work knife. I'm not a big person on multiple blades. This did come with another knife which has uh, multiple blades in it and, and that'll be coming up soon. Um, the reason I like that one, it has two blades, is their blade choice. Which, uh, you know, has one of my favorite blades on it. I'm not a clip point guy. Uh, I prefer a drop point. Something like this, or a Warren Cliff, is another good blade. Um, but this this works for me, very nice. And it's not big. You can see that. Look at that. Great knife. And uh, closed. Let's see what it is closed. It's got a really good release on this. It's very clean. And looking here, and we are looking at three and a half inches. Look at that. Perfect. You can't beat that. Rough ride. These guys are killing me. Killing my budget. <laughs> I, I shouldn't say that because they, you know, how much did I pay for it? That much. I'm not going to break the bank with that, that's for sure. And that's why I like Rough Rider. Not just the price. You're actually getting good value for said price. And, you know, budget guy, that's what we look for. You look for the best price you can find and get the best value out of it for that price. And there's not many people that are going to beat Rough Rider at that. Beautiful knife. Love this knife. Very, very nice. And of course, it's now part of my Faded Blue G series. Working on it. I'm about three quarters of the way through. But I persist. My budget, it's not working for me right now. Anywho, there you have it. The Rough Rider Lobster. Love this knife. Very nice. Very nice knife. Can you beat it? I doubt it. Look at that. It's so clean. You know, they're not... Uh, Mary, is that necessary? Uh, their knives are so clean and well made. You know, say what you like. Um... These companies that go to China, 
I think I've figured out that if I'm going to China, I need to be consistent with what I get from China and they need to meet my spec for a reasonable price. And uh, to be honest, that's what they get it. And that's why they can do it. I doubt if they would. If they weren't getting the quality that they were aiming for, I'm not so sure a lot of these companies would go to China. Rough Rider, they do not care. There it is there. What can I say? Don't forget. Like, share, subscribe. <laughs> you know the story. Pretty sure Mary and I will be back. Now she's taking a nap. Like I said, have a knife coming up. Another one in the same series will be coming up soon. I've been looking at some other knives. Still looking for international traditional knives. Not having a, a lot of luck right now, but I, I'm getting there. <laughs> I just got to find one that I can afford. That's the problem. You'll be safe out there. Especially with these sharp and shinies. They sting if you don't be careful with them. Just say, thanks for watching. See you again soon. <laughs> what do you think? You like it? Look, it suits you. You go very well with this. Okay, maybe not. Look at that. Rough Rider. Forever. <laughs> the lobster. This is a lobster. You set your favorite food, seafood. Huh? No, don't lick it. It's sharp. Oh, what do you do?